so let me go ahead and pull up Stellar Blade's Twitter because I want to see what the big updates were. So I believe it's live right now. And right over here, here it is. Uh, this is from the official Stellar Blade. And here's the thing, they follow me, which is actually pretty awesome. Uh, uh, awesome, awesome. See, so added a new boss challenge mode replay against defeated bosses in multiple settings unlock new costumes neural link suit by defeating all bosses in new boss challenge mode two new outfits the from the uh, kuno ichi series that can be obtained in adam's safe house fixed bugs such as unplayable sections events not triggering and trophies not being uh, awarded Added an auto lock on option when exiting range mode. That's a nice, that's actually a good uh, good update. I like that. Added options to always show the compass on HUD. I think that's nice. It, that the fact that it is an option because I know some there are some people who actually like minimalistic uh, UIs because they want to be emerged uh, and not emerged, immersed in the in the game. Slightly increase the time limit for puzzles. I think I think the time limit for puzzles is fine. Many other improvements have been made to the controls balance and more all right cool okay cool 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 you can fight you can fight all the way up to taki how many bosses so you got uh, abaddon corruptor gig ass brute gig ass again stalker Jug juggernaut taki okay that's pretty cool oh 53 seconds people are cheating no way oh so this is the outfit right here neural link suits but wait there is actually more and I saw other outfits today. I saw other outfits today. Here you go. Stellar Blade extra surprise outfits besides the one announced yesterday. The Midsummer Red Hode and the Midsummer Alice. So this looks like Alice in Wonderland, maybe? Uh, this is the White Rabbit. So here's the thing. Um, the hashtag free Stellar Blade. Um, I, I, I get that on my post and whenever I post something on, on X and I get that. Um, I know Grum started it and stuff like that. Now, here's the thing. This isn't necessarily the win that I think it is. However, this is a very, very good compromise, right? Because if you look at it, this looks very, very reminiscent to the cybernetic bondage. And this one looks very, very reminiscent to the holiday rabbit outfit. Now, um, as you can tell, there's no coverage and no coverage here. And it looks like there's a video over here where you can see the ass cheeks, which is, I can't wait. So um, yeah, so uh, I believe you get these in the game. I don't know where, maybe maybe you can buy from Roxanne or something, or, or um, was it Lyle, whatever his name is. But man, um, yes, the game is still going to be censored. I believe the original cybernetic bondage and the original holiday rabbit outfit is still going to be censored in my opinion. Or if it is not my opinion, but I think it still is is, is in the game if I'm not wrong. So, um, but the fact that they put these out, they're like, yo, fans, we heard you loud and clear. We saw your hashtag free stellar blade. And we know that we fucked up for going with Sony. How about this? Let us meet you halfway. And instead of going back against Sony's um, you know, strong arming us, and changing and uncensoring the previous outfits and yada, yada, yada. What we're going to do is put in two extra outfits in the game that looks very, very similar to what we censored originally. So I think this is a um, a little W, not a big dub, but a little W. And that's awesome. I really, really like that. But I wonder if there's people who are actually upset, right? So I saw this article right over here. This comes to us from Forbes. It's a stellar blade patch boss rush mode and quote, uncensored outfits from Paul Tassie. All right, let's see. News and opinions. All right, let's let, let's see what your tear. Okay, hey, this is the, this is the Kunoichi outfit, right? Hey, it's not bad, it looks pretty cute. Stellar Braid has gotten its first major patch, which adds some significant new challenging content and ends what was one of its most bizarre controversies at launch? Here's what's been added. Boss rush mode uh, in this new challenge where players are tasked with fighting all the game's bosses in different settings, such as new pursuit. So, oh, sorry, such as a new pursuit. This challenge rewards what else? A brand new outfit in the game, the Neural Link set. This is awesome. I like how this looks. It's very classy. It's very, it's very nice. And I also saw another image. I also saw another image and we'll probably look at it later. Quality of life. 
They've added new a few new things like uh, auto lock on when exiting range mode, an option to show the compass in the HUD, and they've increased the time limit for puzzles. There are also some balance and control improvements, but I'm not sure we uh, we know all the specifics yet. Kunoichi outfits, these are, these are two new outfits that the game says can be obtained at Adam's safe house, but I just got a prompt that they were auto added to my inventory when you get lo oh when you log in really you do not need to buy the patterns or pay craft to craft them that's awesome that's freaking great i love it uh uncensored outfits here we go after months of complaints that stellar blade had been censored presumably at sony's behalf in regard to the two eve's outfits in particular well dave ended that dispute shift up maintained that the on-disc outfits were not the intended final outcome for those outfits, so the tiny amount of extra fabric was added out of censorship concerns. It was just a design choice. No, they have to say that because it's Sony. I guarantee you if they didn't go with Sony and they went with like, you know, just strictly PC or Xbox or maybe just um, console, uh, cross-platform uh, and cross-console, uh, they wouldn't have said anything. I get like because I read the, um, the interview and they're like, yeah, they're giving me uncomfortable stares and comfortable laughs, right? There are plenty of even more revealing outfits in the game. Yes, there are. But the fact that, look, we are not mad at the fact that you added a tiny piece of cloth in the costumes. We're, we're, we are not, we are not, we're not mad at that. What we are mad at is that they're saying that the game is going to be uncensored from the start at every country that is released in right and then four days later we see the outcome that is what got us mad right it's the principle and the game is mature i don't need any fucking censorship in a mature game all right so the thing is that we get to see abby getting ass fucked in uh um, you know fucking uh, last of us 2 and we get to see a lot of Fucking, uh, you know, aardvark ant eater penises and uh, pingus mcdingus of different uh, sizes, um, tip or no tip, in Baldur's Gate three, and we get to see bear sex in Baldur's Gate three, and this is something that they censored. Get the fuck out of here, man! This shit's all Sony. That did not satisfy any particular crowd who maintained its. Uh, this was purposely censorship, something they believed was demanded by Sony for release, which is, I, I guarantee you, is absolutely true. Despite there being, being no evidence that this was the case, this resulted in a hashtag free Stellar Blade social media campaign mostly focused on the outfits. Now, Stellar Blade has released two outfits that are not patching or changing the old outfits, which still look the same, but they are adding variants with the censored bits removed, AKA, they are very revealing in the pelvis and chest regions as apparently nature's intended. Good. I don't see... I, why are you putting this in there? This, this is a W. This is a W. Unless Paul Tassi is like flamboyantly fucking gay. That's the only reason I can see him if he's actually upset. Essentially, everyone who was upset about this is considering it a win. Though some are still saying uncensored the original outfits. That's never going to happen. That's never going to happen. We are already at version 003. So I, I would say that's not going to happen. However, hearing that this game might be coming to PC or will be coming to PC and there will be a part two, I wonder if the PC version is going to have the the, um, the uncensored version. If, if so, I can see them maybe doing it in Nexus mods or maybe other mods. I'm not sure. But, uh, but yeah. Let's see, um, like that even matters anymore with these releases. Yes, it does. It's the principle that matters, Paul Tassi, you piece of shit. You pick these up from, okay, so I was right, Roxanne, the black market dealer. They cost 10 bit, I have zero Bitcoin, let's just use all of it. Still easy to acquire. I said, when this was all unfolding that I figured Shift Up would eventually do something like this, either changing the original outfits or doing what they're doing here. They are a company that is absolutely forthright about their intention to make sexy characters and demands that outfits weren't sexy enough in, in a game full of extremely sexy outfits was probably always going to lead them to go, okay, sure, whatever, here are some sexy versions, so here we are. The bad part 
of this is that the culture war folks here have been rewarded for their frankly ridiculous campaign lambasting this game developers sony everyone for the original outfit changes as some sort of conspiracy which did not exist Yo, Paul Tassi, if you ever watch this video, how much dick do you suck a day? Like, like, like how many, like how many dicks are you guzzling a day? And how, like, and how much dick riding do you do every day? I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm actually curious, right? Because if you are uh, not a male feminist, like you, like you say you are, you are definitely gay. Like super flamboyant fucking three cocks at the same time gay like holy shit man right if not that you're ma then you're a male feminist that you want that, that you want to get laid but you can't so you basically say shit that makes these feminists think that you're cool and then you can lower their guards and then you can you know do disgraceful things to them of course that's what fail men, uh, female um you know you know female dick suckers would like um let's see the outfits themselves are fine again there are a dozen outfits at least uh this revealing in the game but this being a reward for this group and the behavior is not a great look anyway the big thing is that the, bo uh, the boss rush mode and that sounds like a fun thing to go try now that i've maxed out eve in every other way oh yeah this uh paul tassi is absolutely a big dick rider for sure man holy shit now here's the thing like i said i think this is a shift of w relatively a small w but w none the least uh, and I think this is this is a good way to go. Now, I wonder if Shift Up is gonna be like, yeah, we're not gonna work exclusively with, um, with Sony anymore because they fucked us, they strong uh, they strong armed us, and uh, yeah. And the thing is that the fact that Shift Up makes Nikkei the goddess of victory, like these censorship did not need to happen, and it is all because of Sony.